The music of Norte Collective was born out of the border dynamic of Tijuana. This group of musicians and artists is known for blending the traditional Norteño style with electronic club beats. It, it really became a, a federation, if we can call it, of DJs and VJs that began uh, playing and experimenting with electronic music. Javier Duran is professor of Spanish and border studies at the University of Arizona. He's also director of the Confluence Center for Creative Inquiry. He says Norte Collective offers an interesting example of the blending of cultures along the border. From my perspective, what I'm interested in is to see how they negotiate the contradictions that we find in border regions, and especially in a place like Tijuana. I mean, the coexistence of uh, contradictory societal aspects related to violence, migration, uh, even our own perspective from the U.S. to secure the border is part of the conversation. The conversation being had here, says Duran, is one that includes the topics that are relevant to the communities that live at the point of contact between two countries. A point of contact that creates tension which translates into the sound of Norte Collective. They started sharing sounds, music, uh, also they start playing locally to wider audiences and they supported each other with the local artists in terms of the graphic design. They were sort of part of what we can call a rave culture back in the day. And so that idea of being underground sort of remained part of this mystique, that they were locally uh, grounded, they were locally uh, produced, uh, and at the same time they were reaching our audiences, especially in California and Europe. So it's an interesting mix of, 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 of folks working along the lines of Norte, besides the actual musicians. Indeed, Norte Collective is much more than a sound. And it's been said that if music is the soul of Norte, then art and design are the heart and mind behind the movement. A big thing with the Norte is the visuals. Omar Pimienta is an interdisciplinary artist, a VJ, and writer who lives and works in the Tijuana border region. He says Norte Collective was part of a border aesthetic that gave voice to the bicultural experience of people living in Tijuana. And most of it is pretty much um, bringing in lower base community elements, taxis, the donkey, stuff that people weren't really proud of in Tijuana. It obviously made young creative people think about their city in a more critical way. And it gave them pride and tools to, I guess, unify more their creative process. Pimienta says the melding of creative sensibilities created tension. Traditional music genres being mixed with an invasive pop music sensibility did rub some people the wrong way at first, he says. It took relatively short time for everybody to figure out that this was an honest attempt and that it was, that it made sense. And it wasn't a mockery, it was simply appropriation. And, and it, it, everybody, yeah, I, I could probably say everybody jumped into the wagon pretty much. The U.S.-Mexico border is a place where asymmetry and tension seem to define identity, says Duran. And Norte Collective provides a window into how a new border culture evolves. What I find interesting is the possibility of negotiation between the local and the global and what place the border has in this conversation. Duran says the conversation about the border involves many issues that change over time. A Norte Collective is only one voice in a complex dialogue. Now, it would be naive to think that this uh, sort of audiotopia that is Norte in some ways would provide concrete solutions to some of the issues, but it, but it does provide a venue to better rethink what's being produced at the local level in our border communities on both sides. And what are some of the things that we can engage a younger generation to rethink the ways that we're talking about the border and how we're dealing or managing the border, so to speak. 